Tonight in 12 Inspires, a man of many talents. He's a woodworker and a machine operator. But before that, he was a business owner. Wanda Stark is here to tell us a little bit more about his incredible journey. Hi, Wanda. Hey, Kenny. Dennis Rufus has been making beautiful works of wood for 50 years. He won first place at the Kansas State Fair when he was a junior in high school. His world has changed dramatically since then, but his talent for creating unique masterpieces has only grown. This is not a garage. This is a wood shop, a treasure trove of beautiful crafted wood. It's a second home for Dennis Rothfuss. He spends hours here every day. I just love it. I mean, I can just do it all day long. This is a pool stick holder and it hangs on the wall. This is a custom design Dennis created for a firefighter who was also a diver and a medic. Dennis makes everything from jewelry boxes to urns to toys. Take a moment to look at all the detail. You can see Dennis is passionate about woodworking, but he can barely see it all. He is legally blind. If I use my right eye, I can tell if he was a male or a female out of my right eye. My left eye, I can clear things up fairly good in one little area. It all began when Dennis was nine years old and had to have surgery to remove his appendix. Took me in recovery and they told my parents that everything is good. He's going to be back in his room in about 30 minutes. When my parents got in my room, I was dead. <laughs> I was, wasn't breathing. They said I was dead at least eight minutes. After I woke up, I couldn't see for 24 hours. I couldn't see nothing. Eventually, Dennis began to see. It wasn't the same, but it didn't blind his ambition. In his 20s, he built houses, owned his own construction business while managing his family's 5,000-acre farm in Kansas. And for eight years, he owned a hotel. All was well until his 40s when everything became a big blur and he decided to call it quits. And this is my plans that I had to build this stagecoach. This is all I had. Wow. But Dennis never gave up on woodworking or working a job. He searched and found tools like the Acrobat magnifying glass to help him design and create wooden pieces. This one goes short. This one is a little longer and this one's longer now. And he uses special sticks to help him measure before cutting. Dennis looked for a job and found one in 2010 at IFB Solutions in Winston-Salem, the largest employer of blind and visually impaired people in the country. He is a sewing machine operator, one of more than 450 workers here. Dennis is part of a team making back pocket flaps for Air Force uniforms. He is also IFB Solutions Employee of the Year. His work on a daily basis, his commitment to excellence, uh, you know, he's always out there making sure we're working hard, we're getting the products to the soldiers that we serve in the field. I never got to go to the armed services because of my blindness, my low vision, and now I'm getting to serve. Dennis says IFB was the perfect solution for his life. He now has purpose and a vision. He's just weeks away from completing a studio he built by himself. Never give up. Always figure out a way to do it. Just don't give up. Don't think that you, you can't do it. You can do it. That's my model. You do it. And that's what he does. He pushes through a lot of pain. In fact, he had his stomach removed several years ago and has had a number of illnesses, but he remains positive through it all. And he's also generous with his work. He's donated a number of pieces to IFB auctions to help the programs for children there. He's just an amazing and talented man. Incredible. Remarkable, remarkable yeah. life. Beautiful, beautiful work. He's so talented. Mm -hmm. What did he say was the hardest part of all of this? He says the hardest part is actually trying to distinguish the different types of wood. He can't tell that by looking oh. at it, so he actually has to cut it open and smell it, and that's oh, how he can distinguish wow. it. Isn't that that's interesting? That. Using all of his senses mm -hmm. there, for sure. So Wanda, are there any pieces that are unusual or any unusual requests that he gets? Well, yeah, you heard me say that he uh, 
produces urns. Well, he also yeah. does coffins. And he says that the people oh, wow. are amazed when they get them because they're not just coffins. They have, you know, all kinds of different inlays and, you know, they're pretty special. You know, wow. Very incredible. intricate. What a talent and an incredible message. Wanda, thank you very much. Yes.